in colour, I must say, but can you believe Miss World's in its 60th year? How's it, how do you think it's changed over the years? Oh, gosh, well, I mean, black and white television to start with and none of the wonderful production values that you've had today. It's been spectacular. <laughs> it certainly has. Well, we're now going to have a new feature for today as well as we put each of our contestants under the spotlight. And I know Angela's going to explain exactly how that works. Okay, well, the judges' marks have been added together, and the five with the highest scores will be given 30 seconds to present themselves to the world. 女士们、先生们,接下来我们其中的五位有机会向世界说说自己为什么应该成为今年的世界小姐。只有五位。但是呢,会是哪五位呢? Ladies and gentlemen, who will be the five to go forward? Well, this is the moment of truth. And in no particular order, first, under the spotlight, is Venezuela. Venezuela, you have 30 seconds under the spotlight. Well, one of the things that I learned in my med school, it's help, it's not easy. You have to put in the shoes of the other one and then going back and put yours and have that empathy and to see the perspective in the whole way. That's what Miss World do. And the only thing I can say tonight is no matter how many challenges or my weaknesses are, the only thing that I have is that I, that I secure you is that I have all my body, mind and soul and all my heart to do it. Thank you. Thank you, Venezuela. And as the judges score Venezuela, ladies and gentlemen, please get ready for our next lady who is about to walk before the podium and speak to the world. She is Botswana. Botswana, you have 30 seconds under the spotlight. Being Miss World means being the pillar the statue, the backbone, and the mirror image to foray femininity, strength, power, courage, and above all, love. I believe I possess these qualities, and I believe I can be that mirror image. Being Miss World means being that image for women all across the world, for women, children, even men. And I do strongly believe that I have that passion. Thank you. A very passionate... Botswana! And 30 seconds, dead on. Next, lucky lady, are you ready, girls? Yes? Okay, we're gonna hear from United States. United States. You have 30 seconds under the spotlight. I believe that this past month has made such an impact on my life. I can only imagine what the next year could bring. Working with such an amazing organization and so many wonderful and influential people, I want to make an impact on the lives of others. I want to help everyone that I possibly can. And it would be a great honor to be crowned Miss World 2010. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations to United States. And next under the spotlight, she is Ireland. Ireland, you have 30 seconds under the spotlight. Ni hao sanya shishi ni men de vengju. If I were Miss World, I would be visiting many countries and meeting many people whose language I do not speak. However, I am a very musical person. Music is a universal language. No matter what country you are in, 
you can sing a song, you can appreciate a song. I know that one person can make a difference. Look at what Bob Geldof and Live Aid did for millions in Africa. How Rosa Parks contributed to racial equality in the US of A. And how Emily Pankhurst has changed that the lives Time of women Ireland. forever. Time Ireland. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, from the three, we are only choosing one to go forward as our next finalist in the spotlight. Who is it going to be? It's China! People's Republic of China, you have 30 seconds under the spotlight. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for the question. If I had a chance to be the new Miss World, on one hand, as an individual, I would like to be more honest, sincere, and passionate and full of energy. Actually, I learned a lot of this from other goddesses here during this pageant. And take part into the very meaningful event makes me moved and grow up uh, ra rapidly. And on the other hand, uh, Miss World Organization is, uh, Time, uh, is a stage. Time, it's not please. for one individual, it's for us all. And we're supposed to give love and share okay. love and spread love. Thank you Thank so much. You, China. Thank you. Okay, a little bit excited there. All right, but it was lovely to see our five finalists speak for 30 seconds to the world and who will become the new Miss World. The judges must now make their decision. Now you at home may have your own favorites, but you know, right now I think we should get the inside view as we go backstage with Steve. Well, I think we had a couple of them overrunning there, so I'm just going to ask, Miss Wells, who's your roommate? My roommate is Miss United States. And how do you think she did just then? She did very well, yeah, very well indeed. Does she have what it takes to be Miss World? Yeah, Alex is uh, very young, very energetic, and very eager to please. Wonderful. And Guyana, who's your roommate? Botswana. Botswana. She seemed to speak well. What do you think? I think she's so intelligent, beautiful. I wish her the best of luck. Tell us something about her that we, we really want to hear. You know, what's, what's she like underneath the makeup? She's just what you see. Absolutely stunning inside and out. Wow. These are you ladies. You're, you're really supporting them well. Anyone got anything bad to say? Uh, I wish Emma all the best, Island. She's my roommate. <laughs> I hope she's g going to win. <laughs> oh, I think that's true of all of you. And Brazil, who's your roommate? China. China. Yes. Oh, and we're going to come down here. And who was your roommate, Sweden? Venezuela. Venezuela. How do you think she did? She did good. She, she did all, all of you are supporting them so well. Well, back to you, Angela. I think uh, you'll see that they're all supporting all of their roommates. Great. Thank you very much, Steve. That was five thumbs up. And I was watching your reactions. A little bit nervous there, girls. <laughs> but that's all right. You know, the judging is over, and your roommates cannot affect the judges' marks. Now, while we're waiting for those very important marks to be added, Beauty with a Purpose was created by Julia Morley more than 30 years ago. And as we shall now see, Julia has become globally recognized for her outstanding contribution in support of those most in need. It was over 30 years ago when Julia Morley came up with the phrase and the concept of beauty with a purpose. And it's raised over $400 million worldwide since then. As international president of Variety, Julia Morley has presented humanitarian awards to many people. But the tables were turned in September this year when she herself was honoured with the humanitarian award in Dublin by the Variety Club of Ireland. For 20 years, Miss World has come and done our telethon in Des Moines, Iowa. And during that time, we've raised over $83 million. And because of Miss World, a lot of children have been helped. Since arriving in China for Miss World, Julia has personally taken aid relief to the flood-stricken people of Hainan. Along with some of the contestants, Mrs. Morley delivered supplies of rice and oil to the town of Qingzong, badly affected by the recent heavy rains. In total so far, over eight and a half million RMB has been raised by the Miss World organization for Hainan Relief. 
This world isn't just about physical beauty. Working purpose, is if it's got its own suitable, it's fantastic. And if only we could tell the whole world what these girls were doing, I think they would be absolutely stunned. I have known Julia Morley for many years now, and she's just an inspiration. She fights for all that's beautiful, good, and true. And it's amazing the work that she's done with the Miss World organization. I am proud, and it has been a privilege for me to present the Miss World Finals since 2003. Thank you, Julia.